Shh! If you're quiet, the master won't see you or hear you. We can sneak in and watch him work. Welcome, Reaper Miniature fans. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to quickly and easily paint up your little herd of yetis. <laughs> herd of yetis. Does that make sense? Anyway, <laughs> so what I've done, I've put all the yetis onto a base boss two inch base. I glued them on with some liquid super glue and I've given them all a spray primer from Army Painter White. Um, and that's all I've done so far. And what I do now is I've gone to the next stage, which would be an ink wash. I will use a light brown ink wash and cover all the yetis with the ink wash. The base, I'm not adding any gravel. This is going to be a nice, simple, easy way to get your yetis looking fantastic. So all I'm going to be doing for the base is once I've finished painting the yetis, they're all going to have a snow base. So you don't need to actually put anything on the bases for these because you'll be adding that snow later. There we are, so I've added the ink wash. This is the Soft Tone Ink Wash by Army Painter and I've added it to all the Yetis. Now I'm going to do all the dry brushing. Super fast, super easy. What we've got is I'm using Graveyard Bone. I have bleached linen and I've got Solid White by MSP. I'm going to be using a large terrain dry brush by Army Painter. So we'll go through that together now. I'll just get the focus in for the miniatures. Okay, I'm all focused in, nice and close, so let's make a start. I'm going straight into the graveyard bone, taking off the excess on my, paper, on my paper towel, and going straight over all the skin areas. Going against the fur, really super fast and easy. Yetis are fantastic, fun to paint. They are so simple but they look fantastic once they're done and it doesn't take long. Fur is um, a very uh, simple thing to paint once you know the steps on how to paint. The fur, it's, it's simple. There we are, that's all you need to do for the first part. Now we're going into the bleached linen with the same paintbrush, take it off the excess. And light this time a bit lighter, just going over the same as you went before. So what you've got is a free tone build up on your highlights. So you've got that dark underneath the skin, under the fur, sorry, and it's being built up lighter and lighter to give that white wall effect. And lastly, but not least, we go into the solid white, take off the excess paint, and again we go back over, this time a little lighter again. Just very lightly this time, just highlighting the certain areas around the Yeti. And that is all you need to do for the fur. Beautiful. Very, very simple to do. All I need to do now is paint in the eyes, the mouth and the teeth, and that Yeti will be done. So I will do this with all my yetis and I'll come back and get to the next stage. All my yetis have had their fur all dry brushed and they're all looking very cool now. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint in all the mouths with Monster Moor. It's a fantastic colour from MSP and once I've added all the pink to all the mouths I will be going over the claws and the eyes um, they'll all be black with dragon black and the teeth I will use my graveyard bone 
with the teeth and the graveyard bone I will then go over the teeth with a brown ink wash so I'll come back once I get all that done so our little yeti hoard has all been painted up now so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start adding the snow to the bases and we'll go through that together okay then let's make some snow all we need is some PVA glue and we're using some white sand and this makes perfect snow um, this is exactly the same uh, not exactly the same but almost the same as the army painter snow and I got this off eBay and it's sold by the kilo <laughs> Um, which was a bit suspect when it came from the uh, <laughs> post box but there we are um, I will show you how to make snow now all we do is we get your PVA glue and I'm doing quite a few minis so I shall squirt quite a bit in um, nozzles what let me clean up the nozzles there we go so I've got loads and loads and loads of glue in there and all we're doing is adding the snow to the PVA glue. And this is why I buy my snow by the kilo, because I use quite a lot. <laughs> well, my little mixing stick. I just mix in all that PVA glue with the snow. You want to make it nice and fluffy. And by adding the PVA glue, it really bonds all that snow together and makes a lovely effect to the snow. Some people sprinkle the snow on. Um, I don't. It looks too gritty. So by adding the PVA glue, you have a, a very look a very nice snow effect. Perfect. And there we are, that's all your snow all mixed up. Doesn't take long. If it's too runny, you just add more snow. Simple as that. Uh, but uh, this is just perfect. Now, what we do here is we get rid of this one, put this on the floor out of the way. We get another blister pack. This is, I always use my blister packs for my miniatures uh, so nothing is wasted in my workshop save the environment as they say um, I'm gonna put a bit of PVA glue in this one there we go squirty 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 um, and now we need an old brush and we just take our miniature and this is where it's very important um, because we need to add PVA glue to the base the whole base of the miniature because um, this helps bond the snow to your base so we just go around all the base with the PVA glue and we do this before we add any of the snow there we are now all we do Go straight to our snow and start scooping it on. Scoop on the snow. And we just flatten it down. What will happen is the snow will um, layer itself out. Just go around the whole miniature like icing a cake if you've ever been a chef <laughs> so just flatten it out tap it down and go all the way around and there we are just push it down a little bit What I do now is I just go around the edges with my thumb just to clean up the edges. Oops. 
sorry. And there we are. What we do, we just let that dry. And, we'll, and all I'll do is I will paint around the rim black. And that's our Yetis. They'll all be done. So I'll come back and show you the finished Yetis. So here is the finished Yeti pack. Again, a nice simple paint. Very effective. And they look awesome on the tabletop for your games. So there we are. If you enjoy what I do, then please subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel, then please become my patron. All patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos. So, until next time.